The legislative agenda in Washington may be at a standstill this morning after President Trump cut a White House meeting on infrastructure short and announced that he cannot work with Democrats until they end their investigations into his administration. So what happens now? Joining us now is White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Allison. Great to be with you. Great to have you. So explain what the president means. When he says you cannot do infrastructure under these circumstances, what does he really mean by that? I, look, I think he was very clear yesterday. He came out uh, and addressed the press right after that meeting where he spoke with uh, Speaker Pelosi and a number of other members of Congress, uh, where he laid out, look, it's, it's real simple. You can't go down two tracks. Uh, we're either going to have to agree that we want to solve problems for the country, we want to come together, we want to work together, we want to address some of the big things facing our country, like lowering prescription drug prices, taking care of our health care system and fixing it, protecting pre-existing conditions, fixing our roads, our bridges, protecting our borders, or we can fight. You can't literally have a meeting like Nancy Pelosi did yesterday, just an hour before she got to the White House, where she accused the president of a crime, said he had engaged in a cover-up, and then show up and pretend like nothing's happened and let's just sit down and talk about roads and bridges. It just doesn't work that way. She mm. knows that. Nancy Pelosi's mm. problem is that she's totally lost control of her party. Well, she's got the, the far left wing telling her what to do, mm. maybe some of the moderates that actually want to get something done, and yeah. she's lost control. And at some point, well, she has to make a decision of which direction she's going to take. I mean, just to be clear, Congress says they actually can do two things at once. Congress says that this isn't a problem. I mean, the Democrats in Congress say this isn't a problem. So is the president saying that he cannot do infrastructure while he's being investigated? I, I think it's a, a complete lie that uh, Democrats in Congress think they can do two things at once. So far, we haven't seen them do anything. Nancy Pelosi has had the majority in the House uh, for months and has yet to accomplish a single thing. Well, they haven't on. gotten. I mean, they hold literally hold haven't gotten anything done Wait since she's taken over. But hold on a second. From January 3rd to present, which is not that long, the House has passed 248 bills. The Senate ha has passed 161, <laughs> a total of 379. That's not nothing. Yeah, it's not. It's it, tell me what significant pieces of legislation that they have passed that are going to change the course of the country. Look, there are a lot of big problems that our country is facing. The president is willing to take administrative action to fix some of those. If Congress is unwilling to do their part, they know that we have a secure, a national security and humanitarian crisis on the border. At least they're finally admitting that. Yet they still haven't done anything to help address it. They know no. that we have a major humanitarian crisis there. I mean, the administration you, requested I, money just two yeah. weeks ago, and they've yet to even respond I mean, to help know, provide additional funding. Sarah, to address hold on. It. Let me just let me just um, get a couple things in there. As you know, they're interested in a deal for Dreamers. I mean, that's one of the things that they are interested in talking to the president about. At one time, he was interested in that as well. So they want something comprehensive. But but just before we get to that, for one second, but I just Allison, want to hold on, hold on. Just, 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 I, I don't want to get derailed to that. I just want to say it. It's the president who's saying that he can't do infrastructure while he's being investigated. He is the one who walked out of the meeting. So just so that we're clear, he's saying that bridges are not going to be fixed until he's no longer investigated. Is that what we hear from the White House? Uh, so far, what we've seen from the Democrats in Congress, Allison, is that they are incapable of doing anything other than investigating this president. They spend all of their time attacking him. And the fact that they would have a meeting an hour before they are set to arrive at the White House, where Nancy Pelosi literally accuses the president of a crime and then wants to walk into his office and sit down as if nothing happened, that's just, that's lunacy. That's not even in the realm of possibilities. The president absolutely wants to get infrastructure mm -hmm. done. He wants to secure our border. He wants to do things that help our veterans. He he wants to improve our education system. He wants to do all of those things. Yeah. But Democrats have been unwilling to work with him. We've laid out a number of plans. You say that the Democrats want to fix the thing on with Dreamers. They've done nothing. They've literally done nothing. We've well, put forward plan after plan, I mean, proposal after proposal, Nancy Pelosi and, and they Chuck have Schumer been unwilling they had a to deal do on anything. this, and then it fell apart because of the president. That's not true. They didn't have a deal that fell apart because of the president. They had uh, something that we had agreed to, but it fell apart because of the court system. It had nothing to do with the president. It had to do with the fact that the previous president took an illegal action and courts have ruled and that changed the entire way that the process worked. We've put forward a proposal. We laid out legislation last week that we supported through Senator Graham. We laid out a more extensive 
uh, policy proposal to fix the long-term immigration system, to have a merit-based system. Yeah. Democrats haven't responded to any of it. We've actually been working and doing things, and all they're doing is spending their time attacking and, this president and investigating. And, just to be and at clear, some point, they have to make a decision. Just to be clear, your merit-based plan will include DREAMers? Uh, it, it, the plan that we've laid out at this point doesn't because that's such a divisive issue. We purposefully didn't include it. Yeah. But look, we're willing to talk about these issues, but Democrats yeah. haven't been willing to do anything. I mean, look, if you're... If you're talking about a merit-based plan, don't you start with dreamers? I mean, we, there are Ivy League educated immigrants here who were brought here through no choice of their own. They want to cure cancer. I'm not making this up. I mean, we've actually interviewed some of these dreamers. Isn't that where merit-based starts? I, I, again, we're not we're not ruling those things out, but we purposefully left that out at the beginning of the conversation. Democrats are welcome to come back and say, we like the rest of it, we want to do this, but they haven't even done that. They oh. haven't responded at all. The, all they do is attack and, and say that this could never work. It's dead on arrival. Yet these are the same types of plans that they were putting forward. And in fact, many of yeah. them voted for in previous Congress when the um, plan came through Bill Clinton, Ted Kennedy, and others. Sarah, one last thing about yesterday. You know that Chuck Schumer and some Democrats say that it was actually President Trump's pre-plan, premeditated plan to walk out of the meeting. Had he ever really intended to stay for that infrastructure meeting? Absolutely. We sent a letter the night before laying out the, the priorities that we wanted to talk about, what we actually consider to be infrastructure. That's another problem that we've got to get solved on the Democrat side is they, they themselves have yet to define what infrastructure means to them. The president sent that letter the night before and said that was what he wanted to talk but about. that letter Let's was about NAFTA. That letter was about the new version of NAFTA. And in uh, fact, Allison, I think you it, must just, not have read the me, entire letter. Let me it just said, let me get the okay, question that it sure. was that you couldn't talk about infrastructure until the USMCA, the new NAFTA, was addressed. No, it didn't say you couldn't talk about it. It said we need to get USMCA completed so that we can fully focus on infrastructure. But it right. also so laid there out. Was no plan. But hold on, Allison. It also laid out. Let's talk about and let's prioritize what infrastructure means for you and what it means for us. We, they wanted us to put together pay-fors, yet they didn't even know what they were paying for. You first have to define and lay out what it is you want to see in the package. Then we can determine how much that's going to cost and where we're going to get the money. The, but we haven't even gotten that far down the process, and that was what yesterday was supposed to be about uh -huh. until Nancy Pelosi had a closed door meeting to talk about the impeachment of the president, which is ludicrous on so many fronts and something that the American people clearly don't want, which is why she's struggling so much yeah. to determine which path she's going to take. Well, the reason she that does people... that and then shows up here an hour later is just is crazy. I mean, part of why people think that it might have been a premeditated walkout by the president is because 15 minutes later, the posters, the placards were already the, printed. Uh, the, the, the placard had been printed weeks ago. And if you look at the president's Twitter feed, he actually tweeted the same graphic on April 20th. So it's not like this was some new talking point or some new moment. That's, that's something we've been talking about since the end of the Mueller mm -hmm. report when we it was determined that there was no collusion and no obstruction. Uh, the fact is, we considered that case closed. I think most of America did. Yeah. It's time for Democrats to get on board. They don't get to do a do-over because they didn't like that the outcome. That's well, like me telling I mean, my kids, I'm sorry you didn't win your soccer game, but that's okay. We'll just play it over. Uh, you know, That's not how life works. Right. They but I mean, lost, you know that they think that the Mueller on. report raised more questions than it ended up answering, but I don't want to get derailed by that. I do want to find out, Do you are you saying that the president is not going to work with Democrats on, say, the budget? Uh, look, we're continuing to have some conversations at staff levels. We want to get things done. We'd like for Democrats to get serious about doing their jobs. We'd like for Democrats to come to the table and do more than attack this president, do more than push this And if they do come to the table with the, for budget or for NAFTA, the president will come to the table also. He will work uh, with Democrats, despite already, what he said yesterday. Uh, the president's already done his part on USMCA. He already negotiated between Canada and Mexico. He got the deal done. Now it's Congress's job to vote on it. His part in getting the most historic and biggest trade deal in the history of our country, he did that part. Now Congress has to do theirs. Yeah. And I don't know if they can take time out of their busy schedules of investigating this president to do the work of the people. But, That's but a question you'll have to ask the But infrastructure is dead for the moment. You're saying infrastructure is dead. The president has no more interest in talking to Democrats about that.
We certainly have interest, and that's what the president said yesterday. He came in calmly uh, in command of the room and said, I want to do infrastructure. I want to get these things done. But you guys have to make a decision on whether or not you want to work with us or whether you want to spend all of your time attacking me. Um, and yeah. so far, we haven't seen them show any ability to do that. Well, I mean, they did show up for the meeting yesterday, but let's move on because the president just- An hour after accusing the president of a crime. But, I mean, Alice, again, that I mean, they say like they can walk That would be like them. John telling you that he thought you were stealing from the network and then sitting down in the chair next to you and saying, but no big deal, let's just move forward. Like that's-, that's John impossible. would it's never accuse me of something like that. Um, <laughs> but, I would but, hope not. But Sarah, um, Rex, the president just tweeted, Rex Tillerson, a man who is, quote, dumb as a rock, and totally ill-prepared and ill-equipped to be Secretary of State, made up a story, he got fired, that I was out-prepared by Vladimir Putin at a meeting in Hamburg, Germany. I don't think Putin would agree. Look at how the U.S. is doing. Now, let's remember, it was President Trump who chose Rex Tillerson as the Secretary of State. So the idea that he is, was totally ill-equipped, how do you explain that? I, look, the president's meeting uh, with Putin had, went extremely well. The president has uh, made clear that having a relationship with Russia is better than not having one. I think yeah. everybody can agree on that. that that's a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, no one's been tougher. The president's been very well prepared, not just for that meeting, but uh, the dozens and dozens of meetings that he's had with other It's hard to know leaders. since no notes are ever released after these meetings and there's not a transcriber. That's that, Allison. That's insane. The fact is, the president walked out of the meeting and did a press conference immediately following. As did a number of his aides who were participants in some of the small group sessions, like Secretary Pompeo and others. So the idea that there was no transparency is just ridiculous, and it's just simply false. Yeah. Um, Sarah, we really appreciate you being here. We know that you have a busy day and that you need to go. Thank you for taking time to be on New Day. Absolutely. Thanks so much.